Yo, what is going on, everybody? It's your boy Ants Armstrong here today, coming in with a hot and spicy video today. Going over how to make and earn stubs in MLB The Show 20. I've been playing MLB The Show and Diamond Dynasty. Uh, I've been flipping and making and grinding cards since like MLB 15. I've been no money spent, never spent any extra money on stubs. Always been able to complete the live series program collections. Always have more subs than I need. Always have enough to do whatever I want to do with. So I'm going to give you a little bit of insight into some of my tips and my advice. It's going to be a little two-part video here within one video. It's going to be a great time. So first part, we're going to go over kind of some of my general tips and advice on just how to you know, accumulate subs. I think a lot of people, you miss a lot of very small things. They're going to add up and give you a lot of stubs over time. You know, If you're watching this video right now, maybe you have 1,000 or 1,500 stubs and you know, you're trying to flip and it's pretty slow because you don't have a lot of stubs to work with. Let's, let's get that. Let's get that count up to maybe 10 K 15 K right from a thousand to 10, 15 K. Let's get you started. Let's get that ball rolling because I bet you you're sitting on subs. You don't know about right now. I bet you within what you have right now, you have subs. So diving straight into our first point here. It's you're selling everything. Right. Let's um let's 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 go straight into my inventory, right? Does we if we go into my player collection, we can see I've I've collected the Orioles, I have them all. Red Sox, Yankees, Rays, and Blue Jays. I've collected the AL East. I right? completed that collection. I got my Giambi, I got my Alomar. Um, big fans of them, by the way. Great cards. Pick them up. The next thing I'm gonna work to is, you know, let's let's go logistically here. Let's go, you know, let's be smart. We're gonna go AL Central's next. But when you look. I don't have any AL Central cards. I know what you're thinking. And how are you going to complete the AL Central? You don't have any of these cards. Well, what we're going to do is I'm not going to collect these cards and go after these cards until I have enough stubs to do so. As you can see, we're sitting on about 57k right now. It's not a ton, right? It's not. It's not a. It's not a ton. Um, but there's. I've made some other investments that we're going to talk about a little bit later down the line in this video as well. So. There's some more subs that I have, but we have some investments out as well. So, um, as you can see, I don't have any AL Central cards. I've been going through, I've been selling all of them, right? I have this guy. He's no sell. I have zero Indians, zero Tigers. I have three Royals. Honestly, I should probably go in, go in here and sell Jorge uh, Lopez. But for the sake of this video, we won't right now. But as you can see, I'm selling everything. If I'm not using it, if it's not in my lineup, and I'm not completing the collection at that moment, I'm selling it right? I know what you're saying. Oh, it's not going to be, no, it is not that much. There's not that, you know, you're not going to be able to make that much. I can see right here. Boom. Going through the ace. Don't know where I got, uh, you know, use Meryl Petit, but I have them right. 460 subs. Get them out of here. Am I going to complete the ace at some point? Yes. Do I need this card at some point? Yes. By the time I go and buy them, is it going to be worth 464 stubs? Probably not. Probably not. There's no sense in me, you know, let's go back to the, to the AL central. Uh, you know, Lindor is a bad example because I want Lindor and he'd probably be my shortstop, but Jose Ramirez doesn't have a spot on my team. Wouldn't make the bench, right? View his market, you know, that's probably a fair price for him, but you never know. There's no sense in me buying him right now at 15 or really 14, right? And collecting him. And then I don't complete the AL central for another week. Right. And then maybe by then, maybe he's down to 12. Right. And that saves me, you know, that's a thousand stubs I could have saved. So, what you need to do first off is you go through and you sell everything. I don't, you know, it doesn't matter what it is, doesn't matter what it's worth. You go through and you sell everything. Let's see, we may have some more athletics here. He's not, okay, look, whoever, whatever this guy's name is, 85 subs. Is it a lot? No. But is 54 subs something? Yeah. If you, if you have 100 cards, 100 commons, Sitting in your inventory, right? I don't think I have any Rangers to sell. Yeah, if you have, if you have 100, we got Brave here. You got 100 of these guys, Jeremy Walker. You've opened some packs if you're watching this. You probably got random comments sitting around. Boom, 87 stubs, right? We'll get 78 from it. You did 100 of those? You just have 100 random cards sitting around in your inventory? You just made yourself 7.8 thousand subs for... What you already have, you already have these. Now that's not to, you know, not to mention if you keep scrolling through, you can see I have none of any of these cards because I go through and I sell everything. 
I sell literally everything. Those are no sales. But boom, I got a Castellanos here. I have no idea where I got them from. Could not tell you where this Castellanos came from, but I have them. Right? And we're going to 1578. Again, here's another tip. Just do one, one stub less. One. Two, never fulfill an order. Right? Boom, we just got 50 stubs. That guy just sold. The old Vermin Supreme just sold, sold 50 stubs. Castellanos just sold 1,400 stubs. Right? You've almost made 15. Yo, boom. There goes Petit. Look at that. I mean, they, it, it moves quick. It moves quick. It's not a big, timely process. You just go through and filter out what you have. It'll go out quick. But back to this point, don't fulfill orders. If I, if I want to buy Castellanos, nobody buy them for 1578. You want to create a buy order. And I want to do 1343, right? That's one more than that. I order price that's up right now, right? I want to do 1343. If I want to sell them, don't come in here and sell them for 1343. Come in here and create a sell order, right? And we're looking at that 1579. Where's my finger? 1579, but one less, right? We're going one less than 1579. Right, one stub less. Don't waste any stubs where you don't need to. Right? Is it a big deal? You know, is it you know, fifty stubs here, sixty stubs there? That adds up real quick. That all adds up really, 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 really quickly. Again, if you're if you're saving fifty stubs in a transaction or gaining fifty stubs in a transaction, over a hundred transactions, that's a thousand. That's 5,000 stubs. That adds up, right? Be smart. Be smart. Work smarter, not harder. Let's keep going through here. Let's see if I have anybody else just hiding around. I got, you know, Mark Matthias. Now, again, nobody really wants the Brewers because they're really, they're a really expensive collection. But we'll take 35 stubs, whatever. Let me just undercut me already. That's okay. We'll just put him up for 39. He'll sell. I'm not worried about it, right? Now, a team like the Pirates, if you get, you know, some teams are some teams are pretty pricey. Who knows? Maybe you have a couple of bronze pirates like Jacob Stallings, and he sells for 296. You know, if you're making 270 stubs minus tax, let's not forget the tax during all this. 10% comes off the top. Be sure to be sure to remember that. Take that into consideration. If you're taking 20, you know, 30 stubs off the top of that, you're making 270. Just for cards you have. You're not, you're not using it, right? You, it, it, you know, you're not completing the Pirates collection this very moment. Tell him, get him out of here. He does, he's not doing anything for you, too. Rob Yerlin, 80, 85 stubs. Get him out of here, right? Now, once you've gone through that, you'll probably, you'll probably have some bankroll. I don't, you know, it doesn't matter how much you play the game, right? Everybody's opened some packs. Everybody's got something high and around down here, right? Here's where we take it to the next level. And we go to another step. There you go. Mark Matthias, 35 stubs. We'll take it. I ain't, I ain't, I ain't never going to turn away stubs. You know what I mean? <laughs> you ain't never going to see me say no to stubs, right? Here's we go to next level. A lot of people, there you go. Mark Matthias, gone again. A lot of people, you know, you may stop there. And if you stop there, you're probably going to make, you know, if you've opened 10 packs, 20 packs, there's probably three to 4K at least sitting there in your inventory that you're not using, right? And again, all we're working on right now, building up that bankroll, and then we can start flipping, right? But let's build up that bankroll even more. Let's build up that bankroll even more because there's opportunities. So when we're looking in, we're going to go over to our equipment. Maybe you have some bats or, you know, I don't think I have any big bats. You know, these these silver bats, they're not worth much. Not worth much, you know, 30 stubs there. I think, I think, I think most of them generally... Sit around 50 subs. See what this legal sucker one goes for. 30 subs. Actually pretty low right now. Usually, usually they're around 60, 70 subs. You know, they're all 33 right now. Somebody is market's really low on those. But even still at 25 subs a piece, you know, 1, 3, 5, 10, 12, 15, 16, 17 times 25 subs a piece. I don't, I don't, that's tough math for me, but if we just had 10, <laughs> we make 250 stubs, you know, you know, it's not, it, it adds up, man. It adds up real quick. They don't have any batting gloves. You can see, I don't, I don't have a glove, fielding glove. Okay. I got two of these right here. Boom. 63 stubs, you know, is it much? No. Does it add up? Yeah. 
not to mention, you know, if you're if you're sitting here, maybe you have a gold. You know, maybe maybe you have a gold, you know, leg guard. This thing sell for nineteen hundred. Maybe you pulled that and thought, ah, it's just a gold equipment. Who wants it? Nineteen hundred stubs. I mean, if you have the silver, you're sitting on hundred and seventy eight stubs. Go through and sell this stuff. Go through and sell this stuff. I don't think I have anything to sell except for maybe some rituals. Probably got some rituals to go through, but the silver rituals, you know, 40 stubs. Man, that adds up. Man, if you have, yeah, you look at how many rituals I got. I probably have, you know, five, six, seven hundred stubs just sitting there and just random rituals I got laying around that I need to get rid of. Go through that stuff and sell it. Same goes for your unlockables, boys. Woo wee! Is there some money in these unlockables? Do I have any right now? No, I don't have any, I don't think, but. Let's look. Let's find us a gold. Let's say you have a random gold. Look at the wrist. Let's find one of these that's sellable here. If there are any. Here you go. You in the market. Boom. 650 stubs. If you had a gold bat flip. 650 stubs. I mean, if you have a silver, even if you got a silver, 215 stubs. What if you're, you know, if you're sitting on a couple of those, we got a home run celebration here. Oh, okay. We got the fadeaway home run celebration. 205 subs that is the easiest 200 subs I've ever made in my entire life. 184 is what it'll sell for, and that will sell. I just made 200, you know. That's, I mean, that's printing, we're printing money, right? Let's look at one of these. Let's look at one of these. Let's find one of these. Boom, 574. Now, one thing to know about these, right? Your diamonds, they, they quick sell for 1,000. Your golds quick sell for 500. You'll see people put these up for 550 stubs. Right, but when they're doing that, you're losing subs. If you put an order up for 550 to sell, you'll only get 495 back once you take away that tax, right? But you can quick sell the goals for 500 subs. So if it's any less than 550, or really like 575 is my kind of cutoff. It's less than 575. I'm only gonna make like five six subs. I'm just gonna quick sell it. I'm just just get it out of here. Let's quick sell it. I don't have any home run calls. I don't have any of these. But you can tell. Right? If I did have one of these, let's say you, maybe you had a diamond. There's a thousand stubs, right? Maybe you had this gold here, 668 stubs. Man, that adds up quick. That adds up so, so, so quickly. Same with icons. Icons are not worth a ton. Like I got a little elephant right here. He's kind of cute, right? And then now, now, see, here's what I'm talking about. Here's what I'm talking about. Somebody has a buy order up for 500 subs. So that's somebody with this card. For f somebody has this card worth... And is trying to sell it for 500 stubs. When that order gets fulfilled, they will only get 450 after tax. They'll only get 450, right? And they have to wait to get their stubs. Look at me right here. Look at these Galaxy Brain plays right here. I can go boom, boom, quick sell, 500 subs. Thanks, I'll take it. Bada bing, bada boom, it's done. These are all no sells, no sells. And boom, I got a dog right here. This guy. 111 subs. I'll just quick sell them. Right, silver's worth a hundred. We come down here, I quick sell them. Take my hundred subs. I just made six hundred subs. That's the quickest six hundred subs you ever make in your entire life. It really is. You won't find it easier. You can do the same with stadiums. You can come through here. You know some of these, especially you know depending on the stadium, maybe like Fenway. Fenway ninety nine subs. You know the new Rangers ballpark since it's new. Everyone wants to play in that. Uh, well, that's Target Field. That's not the right. Everyone wants to play in the new Globe Life Field. 99 stubs there, you know, there's some solid, some solid subs there, much less if you have a diamond, you know, maybe like a polo grounds, which you can't, you got to collect to get, you got, you know, Forbes field, you know, we're talking 2000 subs, man. There's a lot of stubs. You have stubs. Don't let it, don't, don't believe that you don't have any stubs, right? Same with sponsorships. You can go through these sponsorships and boom, boom, boom. You know, I got all these worth 50 subs a piece. They add up really, really quickly. They add up really, really quickly. Don't ignore these non-player cards. Go through everything. I want you to sift through everything. So all you got, boom, there goes that uh, home run call or whatever it was. 184 subs. That's easy money. I We've made like 3K just sitting here talking, and I didn't even have that much to sell because I've already gone through and sell everything. We, got, we made 3K just sitting here talking. It's easy money. It's easy money. You just got to have the patience, put up the orders, don't fulfill orders, Right? Go through, through your inventory. Sell everything. Sell everything. If you're going to collect a team, I want you to go through and buy all the cards all at once with buy orders. Don't fulfill the orders. Just go through with buy orders all at once. 
right? But we're not going to, you don't do that until you got all the subs and complete them. Until then, you're selling, 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 selling. The market is continuously, slowly declining as people complete collections, right? There's only so many times, you know, only so much demand for a random common card or a bronze card. You know, if you go to the Orioles and you look at their bronze or silvers, they're like five, 600 subs right now. In two weeks, maybe that's three to 400 and you've saved yourself a couple hundred subs. I don't buy now if you're not going to complete those collections. Go through, sell everything that you're not working towards. Sell them off. It doesn't have a spot on your team, and you're not completing that collection right now. Sell, sell, sell. Sell, sell, sell. You'll have more subs than you even know. You got more subs than you even know. All right. Now, on to the part everyone really wants to know. Where, where, where big plays really, really happen. We're talking the marketplace. All right, let's, how do you, how do you flip cards? How do you make money flipping cards? Let's see, do I have any orders up right now for any examples? I got two selling, but those are stuff, stuff that we just put up. Let's look, let's look. First off, we're going to filter and we're going to go to live series, right? That's, you know, anything else non-live series is usually pretty slow. So we're going to go to live series and here's my strategy. I'm looking for... Quantity over quality. I know in most aspects of life, you'd rather have quality over quantity. We're looking for quantity here. We're making big, fast moves. I don't need to make 20K on a flip. I don't need to make 10K. I don't need to make 1K. I have, and you will using this method, but you don't need to, right? So here I, I have three distinct card types that I go after first. Golds, don't care about them. Right? The only time we'll go after a goal is they're at quick sell value, right? So maybe like a Severino here, if he were to drop down to a thousand, I'd probably try to pick him up because that's risk free. If I can buy a gold for a thousand subs, like Nola right here, not a bad flip right here, right? It's not a bad flip. You got a decent difference there. But if I can buy him at a thousand subs, it's risk free, right? I can't lose stubs because worst case, I can just quick sell them and boom. But we're looking, we're looking at silvers, right? Let's go. Let's, let's take a quick look through here. And again, we're looking for differences of close to 100. So I can see right here, this Gio Urshela. Let's round them up to 700. So we lose 70 on it. We make 630 after tax. We buy them for 510. There's 120 subs right there, right? Now, oh, we buy them for 509. He's even dropping, right? I could buy them for 509. I sell them for 700. Boom, make 120 subs. Easy money. Easy money. I go after silvers. You'll see them with a lot of silvers. This is David Price. He's a thousand, you get nine hundred. Boom, oh, bond for seven eighteen. You're making almost two hundred subs right there. That's a heck of a gap. That's a heck of a gap on David Price. Now, here's the thing: is that these are always different. A David Price that you make three hundred subs on one day may not have any gap at at all the next day, and even more so, he may not have any margins at all in like an hour. Which is the next point: is you got to sell and buy quickly. Right. If I if I do this order on Urshela or David Price, don't buy it and sit on it for an hour and let your margins go away. When it's when you buy it and you see that order up in the top left corner of your screen that says bought David Price for 707. Let's see if we can do it. Let's see if we can oh, somebody's coming in and undercut them now. But people are crazy like that. If, if if people be doing weird things with a card, I back away from it. People are doing weird things with David Price right now. I'll back away. I'll find me another card. But as soon as I buy it, I'm putting it up and selling it, right? Because the market, it's not, it's not a flat line. There's movement to it. There's highs and lows. There's peaks and valleys, right? Now, sometimes you buy at a valley. Maybe this David Price is at a valley. I don't, know his, I don't know his value off the top of my head. You'll learn. As you continue to do and flip cards and you find the cards that you want to work with, you'll learn, oh, Wow, David Price usually sells for a thousand each, and he's selling. I can buy them for seven hundred right now. Wow, it's a heck of a deal. Let me just snag them real quick. You'll learn that. You'll understand that pretty quickly. But even still, in the meantime, you got to be flipping quick. Don't let your margins get away because you sat on a card, right? Now, what I do, even more so than silvers, I'm coming in here. I'm looking at bronzes because these boys move quick. Right, Christian Walker, right here. We'd we'd make three sixty after tax, two fifty seven. Uh, we're making a hundred subs, right? Easy money, easy hundred subs. 
Now, some of these are a little bit worse. Even, you know, even if you did, you know, let's find somebody, you know, this Ender and Ciarte. Now, you take 35 off of that. You know, you get three, you know, 25 or so, 320. Um, and you buy them for 258. So, you make 60 stubs. Is it a ton? No. But if you do that over and over and over again, it adds up. Just flip in the other day. Right, it's been about three, four, five hours flipping. I made about 50k. You can make probably close to 10k an hour, right? You can do if you make 100 subs for flip at 100 flips an hour, you're making 10k. You can easily make 10k an hour work in this market, and that is with not getting lucky and having a big margin card come through, fall into your lap. Um, you know, maybe the market's super hot. You can easily do more than 100 100 cards per hour. Stuff sells quick. If I was putting in orders right now, you'd see it instantly. But, you know, if you go through and you put in five orders, by the time you finish putting in those five orders, three of them are fulfilled, right? It moves quick. You got to be on your toes, right? Don't let the market out quick you. You be quick on the market and flip quick. Buy it, sell it. Buy it, sell it. Buy it, sell it. Don't let those dips come and take away your margins, right? Buy it, sell it. So, you know, if we were looking through these bronzes here, here you go. Maybe Garrett Richards, he would be okay. You know, you get about 280 for him on a 195 card. It's close to 100. I'd probably do that. Right? Now, the final the final card type I go after is not in there. We look at equipment. We're looking at equipment. I'm going to come through in diamond equipment. There's some really strong margins here. If you have the stubs, if you have the guts to go for it, I mean, you know. There's no orders up on some of this stuff, you know, so you could, you could buy this card for 33 and the sky is the limit on what you could sell this glove on the sky's the limit. I wouldn't recommend it. It's a risky play, but with risky plays, you can get a lot of stubs, right? So, you know, if we're, let's get over to some of these golds here and oh my, you're looking at great margins, right? On a, you make 560, um, or so from this Louisville Sugar Bat, and you buy it for 350. We're talking 200 margins. We're talking 100 there. Uh, we're talking another 100 there. Close to 200 on this ritual, right? Some of this stuff, you know, when you get into the the big stuff, you're losing, you know, 200 on that, and you know, you're making close to two, 300 on this leg guard. There's a lot of stuff to be had here. So diversify your portfolio. You know, invest in different things. Right. You buy, you know, spend some time buying up some bronzes, flipping them. Right. When the market dries up a little bit. Okay. Now I'm going to go look at some silvers. Let me, let me move with them a little bit. Okay. Market's dried up a little bit. Okay. I'm going to go look at some equipment. Let me move with them a little bit. And we're, we're doing that over and over. We're filtering place to place to place over and over and over. Buying up, buying up, buying up, selling, selling, selling. And next thing you know, once you get the groove of it and you know what you're looking for, you become, a, you know, like a, like a machine working it. You just buy. Buy, buy. Oh, we got some sales. Let me go sell, 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 sell. I know the things I've bought already. I can find them right in here. I can sell, sell, sell. And you're buying and selling. And it's moving so quick. And next thing you know, you're making 10, 15, 20K an hour flipping cards. And it's simply just simple math. That's all it is. Just look for margins. Find your differences. Simple math. Bada bing, bada boom. You're making subs. You spend an hour a day doing this. So you spend an hour and a day doing this. Flipping pretty casually. You make 10K doing so. Right? That's 70K a week. Think about it right now. Take a step back. Think about what you would do if on, you know, Sunday, every Sunday, when the clock struck midnight, 70K stubs got deposited to your account and it'll be the show. What kind of difference would that make? What kind of collections are you completing? What kind of cards are you getting? You're getting a lot of them. You're getting a lot of them, right? So, in one final little pro tip right here from your boy Ants, put in some orders overnight. Before you get off, take 15 minutes and put in some orders. We'll do some examples here with equipment because there's some of my favorite ones to do it with. Let's look at this. We'll just add card right here. So, we're looking at it, right? We see a couple there at 1,400, uh, 1,400, 13, 13, 12. And then look at it down there at the bottom. It just kind of drops to 1,200. Right, so if I was if I was getting off right now, I'd come in here, I'd create a buy order, I go twelve or seven. Is it the most expensive? You know, is it not? Is it gonna fulfill soon? No. Will it fulfill at all? Maybe not. It might not fulfill at all. But it didn't take me any time. 
it takes 15 minutes. I can go spend 20, 30 K on stubs and I'm buying low orders, right? And maybe between now and the time that I get back on, we see a nice market dip. I catch one of those valleys. I can catch one of those market valleys, right? I pick up the card. I get back on or back up at a peak and we're, we're making, we're making big time stubs. I did that the other day on this card right here. I bought this card for 810 stubs the other night, just the other night, this exact card, bought it for 800 subs. By the time I had gotten on the next morning, it was selling at like 2,200. I made over a thousand stubs and one flip, which would have bought six, 17 of them. You know what I mean? But you do that over and over again, maybe make another 5k overnight. You know, now we're making a hundred K a week. It's easy. It's easy to do. You just got to have a little bit of patience, right? Learn your cards, learn your margins, build your bankroll, selling everything you're not using, build that bankroll, start flipping, learn the market, take some time to learn the market, learn the value of cards, learn which teams bronzes and silver sell quicker and have more value and have bigger margins. Right? Like the Pirates. Pirates bronzes. Check them out. Look look at those cards. Learn the market. Find the margins. Find what works for you. Everybody's a little bit different. We all like to flip a little bit different. Some people out there like to go diamonds and make 30K on a flip. Because they, they know the market that well and they can do that. That's not for me, but it's for somebody else. It may be for you. Right? Find the market. Understand the margins. Find what you want to flip. Build your bankroll selling everything you're not going to use from those random packs you acquire. Sell, sell, sell. Fill up your subs. Next thing you know, you'll have 150, 200K subs. You'll be completing collections before you know it. Right? Before you know it. If you enjoyed this video at all and you found any of this information informative, please leave a like and subscribe. Right? If you have any questions more in depth about flipping or the market in general, again, I've been flipping cards since MLB 15, been playing MLB the show for way longer than that, but flipping since MLB 15, right? I understand the market. I get the market. I can help you out, right? Give me all your questions, comments below. Be more than willing to help out. And if you want to ask any questions live, we stream live uh, Mondays through Wednesdays at twitch.tv slash Ants Larmstrong starting at 7.30 p.m. Central Time. Come check us out live there. Until then, I'll catch you all around next time.